yet again to another episode of Women in Business on Smart24 TV. We're always delighted to have you. I'm Doreen Kemcha, and just as we have been doing on so many other episodes, especially within the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about expanding women in tourism. This has been huge because we get to talk about all the different niches. We've been talking about, um, about the, the different the women as tour operators, we've been talking about uh, the cultural aspect, we've been talking about the culinary aspect. There are so, it's wide. There are so many opportunities that are there for your taking. On this particular episode, we have an amazing lady, very passionate. She has grown, we were actually holding a conversation earlier, and she grew up from one, kept growing, kept growing, mm -hmm. and she's going to tell us her story. We have Carol Zawede. She's a CEO from Lindsay Farm. She's also into agro-tourism. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask her how she started and how it all came together. Carol, you're welcome. Thank you, Doreen. I'm what happy to be here. Delighted to have you. Thank you. Carol, you are one of those passionate people who, when I talk to you, I pick up this vibe like you can do anything. <laughs> 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 like, honestly, like you can do anything. Is that how it is? Like, you've always been this confident? How did you start? Like, um, uh, I'm, I'm always a go-getter on something I, I'm passionate about. Yeah. Um, we started Emily Farms uh, in 2018, mm -hmm. and we actually started with only goats. We, are, we entered farming as goat farmers, mm -hmm. and um, we have been adjusting step by step. Ah, don't rush us. <laughs> <laughs> Carol wants to uh, rush this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Carol was saying, you just decided, why not chicken? Yes? Mm -hmm. So many people like to get into chicken. Mm -hmm. Why not fast chicken? Why not fish? Why not peas? Why not soya? <laughs> Why goats? Why did you start with goats? Um, uh, everyone gets where to pick inspiration. Mm -hmm. And uh, from all that, we picked inspiration into goat farming. Yeah. We were inspired to start goat farming. Mm -hmm. But I know your next questions will be, well, how have you got to agrotourism and having a mixed farm? Yeah, yeah. By the time we were having goat farming, I know things were not that easy because mm -hmm. the cash flow of the farm was not that, that, that good. The fact that uh, goats, we, uh, we get a return the least after a year. Mm -hmm. But remember, you are having expenses at the farm. You are yeah. having uh, payment, salaries, treatment, your mm -hmm. fuel, your kaboda boda, um, you know. Yeah. So we ended up uh, saying that we need to have a cash flow at the farm mm. so, so that it can stand. Mm -hmm. That's when we... No, 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 no. Carol, you're rushing us. <laughs> you're rushing us again. I want to drag on. Why? Do you know why I'm asking, over insisting mm. on why you started? One, as for you, you have the confidence, right? Mm -hmm. You seem to have, you know, you're just like, I thought about this, let's start with your co-director, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Women are failing to start, Carol. Women are failing to start businesses. Do you know that? Do you know someone can be saving money for five years, six years, seven years, and she'll be asking, oh, I may, let me go and learn about this business. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. She keeps moving like from one business to another, but she never starts. Mm. Right? So I want us to understand this part because you're going to look into the camera and talk to that woman who is failing to start. You're going to encourage her to start. You know, starting is a decision. is a personal decision we make. Mm. If you are um, passionate about anything, yeah. even besides never want to see farming, even if it's not farming, mm -hmm. anything or makeup or something or what, just going for it. That passion will drive you. That yeah. passion drive you to being innovative, being creative, being you know when you feel something, mm -hmm. that means you can push it. So if you're failing to start, my dear, mm -hmm. just think of something you love, something you, you really love. You don't need to be like Carol because mm. I'm a good farmer. I'm, I'm a farmer that oh, she, I know she I, she inspires me. I can inspire you when I'm a good farmer. Yeah. Yet you want to be a passion fruit farmer. By the way, go in for what you want. <laughs> yes. What about that one who is worried? Because she'll tell you, wait. I've been saving my money for some time. Eh? I am not scared about starting in passion fruits, okay? Because that is what I, I love. I'm not scared about the saloon. What I'm scared about is going there and the business refuses to move. You know, when you don't uh, face your fear, yeah, you never mean. know what will happen next. So you have yeah. to face it. Janguna mani, fear yo jitomele. Because even if you take a hundred years, yeah. when you're fearing to start, you'll never achieve. Mm. 
there is no business not having challenges. No. No. All businesses have challenges. All businesses have challenges. But you have to know how to over go overcome that, them. to overcome that. Mm. So if you are still having fear, the only thing that can take out your fear maybe is for you to go in for something you want. Because even when you get challenges, you're like, but I want this. Mm. I want this. Oh, I think yes. I can fight for it. Yeah. Just like in relationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talk about it. Give us, give us. Like maybe because we try to use. Like in relationship, we always fight for what you want. Yes. You go, okay. Is this or she's this? But I can, I can overgo that. Let mm. me look at the good thing about it. We run it. Mm. You see. So mm. same applies to this. Yeah. You, you, I know there are challenges, but you just have to look at the positive vibe about it then and, you and, have to go. and it's easy when you're doing something that you love right yes, yes. but now you can't have a copa they copy mm. a lot eh? hmm? mm. and when i say copy it's not like in a bad way right mm. they they there are people who are looking for you know i, I really want to do something mm -hmm. i want to make some money mm -hmm. right and then they see caro and then they're like ah let me do what Kari is doing. You know what? Mm. Copying is not that bad. Yeah. But if you copy still in something you want, that means you're going to be innovative. Mm. That, okay, Kari is doing agrotourism. She's hosting schools. She's hosting people. She's cooking for them. For you, when you copy Kari, yeah. you know how to spice it up. Uh, what is Kari is doing? You'll yeah. be over Kari. Mm. Or maybe next to her. Yeah. So copying is not bad. But if you copy still something you're still passionate mm -hmm. about, will work out. you'll be innovative. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm not saying that I, I, I've been the only farmer. There are Kaoru. so many others. Yes, there are very so many others. Mm. But uh, uh, there is somehow been thinking far away from over time. Yeah. Because our farm is like someone can be like, hey, your farm, there is camping, there is eating, feel mm. like there is no tomorrow. Actually, we have seven different types of meat on our menu. Can you imagine? I want us to. <laughs> I want us, I, I know, I know. So we have this farm that brings this excitement to I want us to first, I, I want us to take it slowly by slowly, mm -hmm. right? Carol, you rush, eh? Stop rushing. I want oh, us to five. take it, yes, Kakana. <laughs> I want you to take it slowly by slowly. One, because we have so many things that we want to learn from you. Mm -hmm. Carol, you're doing so well. You are passionate about what you, you, you do, okay? Oh, yeah. And, and this, is, this is what I've picked out right now. It makes it just start, yes? Mm -hmm. It makes it also easier to start when it is something that you're passionate about. Yes. There are so many women that I have spoken to and then they say, I'm scared. When you do something that you love, you will go through it. Mm -hmm. You will figure out something. There's nothing that does not have challenges. You will still go through it, yes. right? Yes. Let's go back to the embuzis. So, um... Mm. um as I said, we mm. are still passionate about goats, yeah. but the farm was not standing mm. by its own. Yeah. So that's when we, are, um, we had to introduce other birds mm. that are short-term income, that can bring in income, yeah. mangu mangu, mm. just like you see chicken. You can have uh, returns uh, at uh, uh, five after weeks, yeah. three months, mm. but it in Buzi, you are having a year and above to get some money from it. So mm. that's when we introduced uh, the, 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 the things like uh, chicken, mm. uh, rabbit, duck, guinea fowl. But with that, we have been also been inspired by other people. Mm. You go to someone's farm, there are ducks, and you're like, whoa, mm. I, like, I love ducks. You know, what do that ducks eat? What, what? So you introduce the ducks. Mm. So when we made our mixed farm, yeah. uh, by then it, it has become a mixed farm with fruits, with vegetables. Of course, mm. goats are our... Your main, number one. Yeah, our main source. Others are just adding up on the income. Mm -hmm. So with that, when we were introduced, we introduced birds that are rarely seen. Like you see the guinea fowl, yeah. the turkey, mm -hmm. the ducks. Mm -hmm. So uh, people are like, hey, who will eat? Exactly. That's what is going where, on in where, my mind. Where, where are you going to get this This bucket? is what is going on in my <laughs> mind. Because I was thinking to myself now, guinea fowl, how many people go no guinea fowl? <laughs> apart from those that eat them. Mkofu. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> no. We didn't even have them. I just knew them recently when I went to when I went to the north. Oh. Honestly, like a couple of years back. Mm -hmm. Like six years back is actually when I got to know about it. But I thought it was a, it was a small, what do you call it, flamingos? I thought it was a small <laughs> species of flamingos, honestly speaking. So it, that is how you now brought in different, but not for eating. 
Uh, no, by then, uh, we are introducing it to sell them live, maybe fresh for the market to people who would want. Mm -hmm. But again, we got to know that the, the market we are pushing the product, mm -hmm. they don't know how to eat this. They have never tested, they have, they have never even bought one. Yeah. So we had to introduce the meat testing at the farm. Oh. That's when we introduce meat testing at the farm. When you come to visit okay. us, you can order maybe to eat a guinea fowl or yeah. a rabbit or a duck mm. or a turkey or a goat mm. or fish because we have catfish mm. or um, chicken. Yes, that's how we started that down with the meat testing. One, eh? Yes, mm. and it is it is a talk it's, of the it's, town it's now. Working. Ask them. It it's is a talk <laughs> of the town. Every weekend, Emlisa is full. Yes. Yes. So, mm. and from there, um, we had created our market mm. for for the meats. But again, the people who had tested mm. at the farm liked the meat. And we were like, where in Kampala can I get oh. rabbit meat? Where in Kampala can I get guinea yes. fowl? Where in Kampala can I get? So we had to, to think mm. again beyond. Mm. And uh, we came up with a, a meat store in Kampala mm. where people in Kampala can have our meats, uh, can have the meats from. That yeah. is in much in the opposite shell. Yeah. There is M in the meat store. So we are having all these meats. We are having the guinea fowl, the duck, the turkey, rabbit, rabbit. chicken, and goat meat. Wow. Yes. So this is how, you, it, that's why I told you it has been safe. It by has, safe yes, it has been gradual. Mm -hmm. You guys are creative, you know? Mm -hmm. Who, who gets to think up of this? Is it when you get to walk and see other farms, yes, and see what is happening elsewhere, is that when it hits you and you're like, ah, let me also try this? Not really. Actually, because the things we do, we are still unique. Maybe when people copy up. Because what we do, it's only Emily's that does it for now. So the, just, just give us a little bit about, uh, let us now expound, okay? Because I want to find out First, you started with the goats. Mm -hmm. Then you needed something that can bring in at least some more money as regularly as mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. So as you were moving around, you settled on the chicken. You settled on the different varieties that mm. were there. Yes. And then later on, something else came up. And then that's when you started also the meat testing, meat testing of yes. what was actually there, which yes. made common sense, yes. right? You know, people think that when you are thinking of value addition, mm. you have to think of processing, you have to think of uh, um, something big. Mm. Actually, I was on a WhatsApp group. I think it is a Gota WhatsApp group. I was telling them, do you know that you can add uh, uh, value with fire? Ha! Mm. Everyone will tell you, mm. that's when, because mm. uh, in my mind, I had the meat testing bit about it. Yeah. So I was like, let me prove these people that also adding a value mm. with cooking. Other farm, got off dinner. Mm. But you go back to the salad, to the fumbo, to the And that's what people enjoy. That's what people enjoy. This is wonderful, you know. I think we, as, as Ugandans, as women, as Ugandans, we have to continue, we have to, to develop a habit of being thinkers. Yeah. Being creative, you know. I keep saying, and I'm very, very averse, I, I really don't like the idea of complete copy and paste 100%. I dislike it because when you do so, and I see it often, Yes, I see it so many times. Because when you do just copy and paste, you fail to understand that you have to bring your own uniqueness mm -hmm. to the service. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Eh? They fail to understand that you have to bring your uniqueness. You as Carol, you as Doreen, you as Susan, you as Robina, what else are you bringing to this particular service? And also, the environment we live in can help you to be innovative. How? Um, me, my, my age means... Yeah. Um, I know what we want because I be with them. And uh, uh, when I entered farming, actually I entered farming when I was even a bit younger than now because it is almost five years back. Um, I, but when I entered, oh, well, everyone was like, hey, what for some mulimi? Mulimi. Yes. Right? Now everyone calls me CEO. And because I know what they want, that yeah. even me, what I would want when I go to a place. Yeah, that it's, it's uh, what you put there. It's what I put there. Mm. That maybe what the Tugena Kuiga or Kulunda, I know people have been having uh, 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 the, agri uh, uh, the, 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 the farm tours, yeah. but basically it has always been studying. You are getting yes. about chicken, and that is it. Mm. Then from there I was like, oh. To interest these young people into farming, we cannot do it formal. Like yeah. me, I thought, like, who, how can someone interest me in a place? Just like where we are. 
you have to tell me something having a vibe to interest me to come here. Yeah. So I had to think about what, how to interest these people to mm. come to the farm. Mm. That's when we introduce these things you're seeing, the meat is seeing. I'm a tunga ba galo kuli every woman. Yes. Every unique, <laughs> every inji. So they're like, hey, there are some people book. They book, they're wanting to come and eat, but when you come, mm. well, let us first do a tour around. Oh. I know you'll pick one or two things from us. Yeah. Yes, but I know. But you still. We are going to tour and you admire one or two things mm. from us. So from there, you never know. Mm. When I visited them, Lisa, I saw they did this. I think mm. I can do it. Yeah. Even when you have come to just eat. Mm. So we know how to, 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 to bring out our people but there. Let, let me first ask you about secondly, that like, did they, you know, Muluzi, Muwat, Mulimi, all this. How? No, obuluzi, no obulimi, everyone, uh, people have been taking it for granted, for the poor, for the people who have failed, for, uh, like, people have been taking farmers it's for not, granted. Not, it's, not, it's not something It's not that people are serious. seeing farmers that are slaying, farmers are having makeup, they're having nails, they're having, <laughs> you know, but before yes. I think, even the magazine, actually one time I called at, at the ministry. Yes. They are printing the out. project magazines having people not having teeth not a yeah. oh, you guys we are having beautiful farmers around you know please just talk, <laughs> just talk to them and show them why are you portraying them? farmers as this, <laughs> and you know these are things we this this is something i never really thought about because every time they think of farming and this is the changing face of farming the changing face of agrotourism mm -hmm. yes every time they actually capture farming it is a woman carrying with the hair with, you know carrying and potatoes I, or something the hair is then, upside down yes you are having carol having hair done well having very good why are we please, still portraying please, with that please talk to them talk to the women <laughs> who love to slay but also want to make money from farming tell them it's possible to you have know i've long got nails. so many friends especially the celebrities when they come to our farm, they're like, hey, so look on the farm, and you and you never tell them again to yoga. That's what I want. Oh. I know when you come into farming, you get into your, sense, your, your senses. Yes. Me, my thing is to introduce you to farming. Yeah. So when you come at our farm and you're seeing the vibe and you think, hey, that means I can also make a farm, call my friends. Some people take it as a shobi. Mm. But when they, I know when they enter into the real business, that's why I don't go to the house. Like, ah, I don't want to go to the house. I don't go So, but when they come and say like, okay, that means I can have the vibe and everything. That's mm. what I want. I want you to talk to the woman out there. I think we have, we have such a growing number of young, of young, young girls, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Young women getting into, into farming. But you also have the others who, that's why I asked intentionally, did they laugh at you? Yes? You also have the other ones who really want to have nicely manicured fingers, mm. yes, fingernails, but are, are wondering how will I make it work. Mm. I just want you to look into that camera and stretch that they can balance all this and be able to have something and something on the side. Actually, right now... In fact, show them your nails. <laughs> <laughs> right now, whom you call slay queens, whom you call the king and the yeah. queens of the city, are in zero way at the farm enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the way, at the farm, enjoying. Mm. I don't know if you're going to be with us with the, with the other people. You would have yeah. seen what, how we'll it come. is. We'll so um, um, it is something different. You can make a difference. You can be who you are. Mm. You cannot go anywhere you want. You cannot do what you want. Yeah. You, you can still be what you are. Yeah. Farming is like any other occupation. Just take it the same. Because mm. the day we but you won't get again if you don't take business serious you mm. won't get what you want Sorry. you continue seeing that i want to come farming because you're not taking it as a as a business as a business yes. what do you mean as a business you know people when they make for some people when they make farms they tend to be telephone farmers like yes mm. day okay kali mm. okay kali mm. But yet, at what you call work, you are there every day, almost every day, or not more than two days or three days. What you call work, mm. but again, you're having a farm as a business, but you're not appearing there. A month, two weeks, so, a week. So, so are you saying that any person who, because I know, I know others who basically have their corporates, they have, you know, they have, you know, eight to five jobs, okay? Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock up to five o'clock. But they also want to do something on the side. And they're also looking for managers whom they pay. So you want to say those ones won't work very well? 
Okay, DIT is helping us produce some people who are really um, enough to manage our farms. Actually, I thank them. Uh, but what I always tell people, farming is like a second wife. Eh? <laughs> you know what it means? Yes. To men, I always tell them, you know, having a second wife, the katijo, the, the, the care, the everything. Yes. It is the same thing. Just know you are marrying <laughs> someone else whom you have to be checking up on. One. A young one. And you did have it here. So you have to be checking up on them. You have to be like knowing what is going on. Mm. You want to see them every time and then. Mm. This is farming for you. If, mm. you are, if you are having another job, yes. just know you are marrying someone else. <laughs> this, has, this has nothing to do with first wives people. <laughs> this has nothing to do with it. So yes, this is just something I think to, to drive the point home. Okay, well, let yes. us take us to the most yeah, important part to drive, of it. But it's still, it's, still, it's still important, I think, to talk mm. about these things, Carol. Because I have many people that I've spoken to, especially within the corporate world, and they've lost money. Yeah. They've lost quite a lot of money. Those telephone things, eh? You're a telephone farmer. I always compare that to having uh, you, your job, and you're having a shipment coming in, and you just pan and sit. Mm. That is the same thing. Mm. You should be there. You should be there. You should be there. You should balance. Oh, of course, you work up to maybe Friday. Let's Saturday and Sunday. Let you be there. Actually, I have, I have one. Let's even talk about it, right? Because, yes, they work from Monday to Friday. I remember one who said that whenever it is time for, for harvesting, she's into, you know, the, the crop farming, mm -hmm. uh, tomatoes. I think she has some maize as well. But she was telling me in the last harvest for the tomatoes recently, a couple of, I think it was last month, and she was like, at any one time, whenever they're going to harvest, she has to be there. Yes? Whenever they're going to harvest, she has to be You can't send there. someone to bring for you money. To bring for you your money. Yet as a girl, you have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you have you to be there. <laughs> you're hearing this, eh? Please take this advice. Actually, your presence makes, makes a lot <coughs> of sense. Yes. Your presence makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. What about in those instances? Let's even talk about it. What about in those instances where, because another will tell you, you know what, I need the money to inject the site, so I need to work, right? I need yeah. to keep my job. Mm -hmm. I can't be there full time. But I have tried to hire people from my village, from what, that I know. Yes, they let me down a couple of times, but I am hoping that something will work out. And yet I have made losses. I made losses the first season. I made losses the second season. I've made, I keep injecting, hoping that something will come out. I am here over the weekends. Yes, I try to be here as much as possible, but things are not working out. Okay, what? to the, to the, uh, to the uh, corporates up mm -hmm. there. I know you are, uh, for this, you're going to also behave like corporates. Mm -hmm. I know you cannot be at the farm 24 seven. Yeah. We are having uh, cameras solar cameras right now <laughs> that can give you feed 24 7 on your phone yes set rules and regulations for your farm mm. my easy and color everyone i give them a role mm. if you're working mukoko you're working there if you're working the goats you're working the so that you're accountable yes mm. so i be seeing you here not taking my goats mm. by the time you're supposed to take so actually those cameras you can't even talk to them you're like several why aren't you taking my goods? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, uh, besides the, the camera, because they are solar cameras, there's no time they are going to be off. Mm -hmm. And that's what most of the farmers are doing, because their farmers having actually more than one farm, and yeah. they're supposed to supervise them. So, these days, at least our Zungu Batu we are mm -hmm. having cameras that you can actually see what is going on Even at the farm there. when you're not at the farm, and you can supervise it yes. on your phone. Mm -hmm. Like, or, or for now, you know, and when they get to know that you are seeing them, they'll actually do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> you people, <Yes. laughs> Kara is giving you tips, women. Kara is giving you tips. She's into this thing. I haven't had anyone come up actually and tell us about this, mm -hmm. apart from someone on the side. But this is good that you are here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a short break. We are talking about agro tourism. We are talking about that, and we are still getting from Caro how she started and how everything goes together. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back after this message.